Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be filming a life update and telling you guys all about what's been going on in my life. And yeah, let's not waste any more time and get right into the video. So I'll start off by priming my face. So as you guys know, in February, I moved to Joburg for school, of course, and ever since I moved here, life has just been not perfect, but I've been really enjoying myself. So as you guys also know, in, when was it, in December I came out to everyone I guess and that actually went really well like everyone was very accepting I was really happy with everyone's response to what was happening and I knew that me going to varsity would be so amazing for my sexuality I don't know if that makes sense but yeah so I'm using this um brow pencil got it from an Indian shop so yeah guys like ever since I moved to Joburg I just feel like it's been the best thing for my sexuality I've dabbled into a lot of things like not necessarily dabbled but like I've been trying out some things like I not necessarily tried out dating but i feel like i'm entering the dating scene now now that i'm in joburg and like joburg just feels it feels like you know when you get somewhere and you feel like you just belong that's what it feels like for me like i can't explain it but there's just that feeling of it feels right and I've made new friends and I'm still friends with the people I was friends with before like even living with my friends like guys like I never thought I'd ever live with my friends but yeah I live with my friends not necessarily live in the same place but like area and stuff which feels somewhat weird but it also feels normal at the same time and yeah, also adulting, I'm starting to adult, which that's difficult, but like I feel like it's nothing you can't handle and I feel like everyone that's in varsity feels that way. Okay, not everyone that's in varsity, but like if you're living on your own in varsity, I feel like you feel that way. Like you can see how adulting would be for you. And I just feel like it's going great and I'm not dating, I haven't dated anyone but I think I'm dabbling into that space and I just hope that goes well because <laughs> that's been something that all my life I never really wanted to do. okay not that I didn't want to do I did want to do it but like it just wasn't happening and I'm not out there looking for a relationship like if it comes it comes but I'm also not closed off to the idea of a relationship I don't know if I'm making sense but I know you guys get me and school has been going well there's been some hiccups I think that's normal it was an adjustment for me which hopefully I'll fix no not hopefully I will fix yeah, there's been some hiccups, but that's fine. And also, like, peer pressure and stuff. I'm so glad I'm not someone that falls into peer pressure. Like, the whole thing of someone moves to varsity, next thing they drink drugs and all of that. I haven't dabbled into that, and I don't think I will. I think that just goes with not home training, but like, your parents like some things you see from your parents and you're like 
this is something that I'd never do. Other things I might do, but like, like drugs, no baby. So I haven't gotten into that and I don't think I will. Definitely you see people falling into that trap in varsity because many people don't get freedom from home like during high school. I know that with myself and like my friends, some of my friends were really closed off in high school because of strict parents and stuff. My parents might have let me go to stuff but I wasn't out there like that and experiencing life like other children were so i think it's just a thing of some people being in a new environment freedom they don't know how to handle oh not my foundation to put down they don't know how to handle that which i think it's just the way someone is some people can handle being new like with me i was never new anywhere from preschool, when I got to, from preschool to primary school, I knew someone, I had a friend from preschool, so I didn't feel new. And I was really good at making friends when I was really young. Like, one thing about me, I will make friends like no one's business. So, and then from primary school to high school, almost more than half of the class from my primary school went to my high school, so I was not new there. And then from, high school to varsity i was sort of kind of new but not really i had my best friend siku we live in the same building so that wasn't that much of a hassle and i made new friends in the building which i didn't think i'd do because i'm really shy like when it comes to making friends i'm not the best person to do that and i've made a couple of friends and i really love them like it just feels right like everything in life is just falling together School maybe not so much but it will fall together I know But yeah life is just coming along And also navigating my sexuality has been One of the best things I've been doing when I got to Joburg Like I get to be my best fantasy I get to live my fantasy and I absolutely love that and my Nikita Dragon ear. I don't really like that for myself. And my Instagram, I've been more free with my Instagram, my TikTok. I've started daily vlogging on TikTok. I think everyone knows that. Oh my goodness, doing your makeup with this thing on. Not the best idea. And I've just been enjoying myself and doing whatever I want. Makeup has is, makeup is not new to me. Like throughout high school, I've been doing it. I just wasn't public about it, but makeup is just not new to me. I'm not even going to lie. It's nothing new for me. And I've just been living life. I have been going out, but it's nothing drastic. I did think that when I got to varsity, because I'll be free, I'll be going to groove every weekend or every day, which is not the case. Like, I don't think that's good for you. But I, I wait, no, I, not that I don't think it's good for you. I don't think it's good for me. Because I don't want to fall into traps of things that I wouldn't attract if I wasn't out like that. Yeah. And in terms of my sexuality, I thought Joburg would be a scary place to navigate my sexuality because I thought it would be almost the same as back home which is like um, I'd like to think I'm not confirming not the most accepting of places and when I got to Joburg like the straight boys here were like okay cool you gay can't be friends cool I've made straight guy friends, which is cool. Which I thought the moment I come out, I won't make as many guy friends because I always felt like many people don't like queer people and stuff like that. But like, it's not the case. Like, 
they just see it as something normal i think it's something that every child prepares themselves for like no matter your sexuality you just know that if you're going to varsity you'll be meeting other kids you'll be meeting other kids of different backgrounds and different lifestyles and some different sexualities so i think people prepared themselves for that so i think that's why it was very accommodative in terms of my sexuality and yeah school is going well i'm really enjoying school right now i think i'm getting the hang of it like all along i just don't think school was coming along because i was just not used to the new environment and stuff like that but i feel like now it's coming along and i'm really enjoying that and yeah i'm just really enjoying life right now so this is me making an announcement that i'm coming back to youtube also the reason i left youtube let's dive into that i left youtube because I dropped my phone and the screen cracked and then I was just like I can't vlog with my front camera anymore so what will I be doing? I hate when makeup brushes fall on the skin. So how will I do YouTube? So I just decided to private all my videos on YouTube. And then I got into vlogging on TikTok. Vlogging from TikTok I do it with my back camera so it isn't that bad i can do that i can live with it so i think that's why i was able to how i was able to do that but yeah i think on youtube i'll be doing more of the makeup side of content of the makeup probably vlogs when i get a new phone don't know when that is so yeah guys this is me saying i'm back on youtube and I'd also like to say thank you for all the love I received on my prom video here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Got some DMs. Oh yeah, let's get into that. So, when I decided to do the whole prom situation, if you want to see my prom look, you'll find it on my Instagram. <laughs> on YouTube, you'll only find this video, I'm sorry. But yeah, like when I decided to post my prom videos, my prom content on Instagram, I got many DMs from different boys, even boys from back home and some from probably South Africa, because I think that's the only place people know me from. And there were many boys that were like, they would have loved to go all out for prom. But they were held back from their sexuality and how school kids are and I totally get that at first when I decided designed my prom outfit let me tell you guys I changed my prom outfit three or four times probably four I think it was four like four times because I was always so scared of what will people do and what will people say and how will people take it so I was always scared of that but then my third prom outfit that I designed because I designed I designed my prom outfit myself so all the other ones I also designed myself when I made the third one which was a normal suit black tux very um what is this person called I forgot James Bond very James Bond-esque which was very mask and straight and then I decided you know what all these people that I am putting into accommodation that they might not accept my outfit, they might not receive my outfit well, I am leaving them behind. Like it was the last day of high school, I guess. Prom was the last day of high school. Like I'm leaving them behind. And even if prom is in the middle of the year, it is what it is. Prom is my day. I shouldn't have made it about anyone else. And if people don't like it, that's fine. Not everyone will like what you do. So then I decided to go with the outfit that I ended up going with. And people received it really, really, really well. And I was like, what was I scared of? And even if people didn't receive it well, I would have been happy. That day I looked like a dream. I felt like a dream. 
life was a dream that day like everything felt right guys i'm obsessed over my prom look i think i'll be obsessed with it for the rest of my life i ate i ate so yeah that's how i felt about prom and all of that but i just feel like with life just take it one step at a time one step at a time and since i'm here already i also want there was something that's been on my chest since the day i decided to come out till probably now which is this thing of society and those around us forcing people to come out with their sexualities is not on because i feel like everyone should do it at their own time just like how your straight people they date when they want to date they pick that they want to date the opposite sex when they want to pick it and no one forces it down their throat so why is it that people society is forcing down forcing down coming out people's throats like not everyone's ready and the moment i come out i'm coming out for myself not for you not for the next person it's me doing it for myself and if i decide one day i don't want to do it that's perfectly fine and people shouldn't force it because i feel like one being queer is very dangerous in society people's safety is at hand so will you be there to protect me forcing me to come out like i just don't get it and if i wanted you to know my sexuality i would have told you but because i didn't tell you that means i didn't want you to know so i just feel like people should just stay assuming what people's sexualities are until people decide to disclose and ah uh, until someone decides to do it it's not your place it's not your battle to be fighting so yeah i just wanted to vent about that and also another thing that's been going on in my life what else can i talk about i don't know what to talk about anymore i've never filmed the life updates in my life i tried filming one like this before and it came out a mess but like as in general i've never filmed a life update so i don't know what to talk about and also what would you guys like to see on my youtube channel what would you like me to do in case the things I mentioned you'd like me to do more, I can totally do that. I'd also like to do fashion videos because I'm getting into fashion, I'm in my fashion era and I'm really enjoying that, it's going well. Um, what else can I say? My family, um, my siblings, my parents and everyone who's close to me, family I guess. It's going all right. I'm really happy with my family. I love them to bits. Yeah, there's nothing I can speak about there. Yeah, I think that's just it. You guys, I have not washed my makeup brushes from the last time I used them. So I'm just scared of these eyeshadow brushes having product on them. So I'm applying my contour shade on my eyes. So now since I have nothing to talk about, I'll just talk about makeup. So for concealer, I used a Smudge Beauty concealer in the shade Sand Beige. Um, I used it to conceal under my eyebrows and under my eyes and all the parts you saw me conceal on. And then above my brows, I always conceal with my foundation. I just feel like that works best. It just 
it doesn't give you that halo brow effect as if your brow is floating on your face which i really like but that also looks really good on some people like some people eat that look for me i just like having it one shade above my brows i don't know if that makes sense and then foundation i used my smudge beauty foundation in the shade mahogany um and then for blush i used the same blush palette palette oh yeah let me also contour my nose while i'm here because i'm using the exact same shade And then now I use my contour shade on my eyes. And I'm also using it here. Guys, am I the only one who's not into high? Let's talk makeup now. You please suggest a foundation that I could use. I'm trying to change my foundation. There's nothing wrong with this one, but like I want to try other things. Because ever since I started doing makeup, I've been using this foundation. And guys, let's talk makeup. Am I the only one who's not into using highlighter these days? Like, I just don't like it. It's not my thing. Not approved by me. But that could change. Because sometimes I do use eyeliner. No, not eyeliner, man. I do use highlight. Now I'm gonna cut crease situation. Like I'm just not into highlights. I just don't know. Actually, I'm obsessed with the Nigerian glam, like the matte look. I'm just living for it. So I think maybe that's why I'm not into highlight today. But I do like a dramatic eye. I might do a matte base, but a dramatic eye, I love it to bits. So yeah guys, this is me doing my makeup. So yeah, also you guys, which side of makeup are you on? Because I feel like the makeup community right now is just looking towards one direction. Like I feel like in 2016 when I got into makeup, makeup was different. Like the Nigerian and UK girlies were definitely doing their matte base with chewy finish but like you look very soft and glam like your nude eyeshadows and stuff like that but now and people were doing your major cut creases your dramatic eyes but i feel like makeup has just moved to one direction now like everyone is doing the nigerian glam or the uk girly glam and i just feel like i don't like that as much as i'm part of the problem because that's what i do but I feel like I do get into dramatic eyes also. So what do you guys feel about that? Actually, I should do a video on just talking about makeup. And then I put this in the corners because by doing this, you're opening up your eyes. And it's just going to give you that I'm awake look and then let me soften it out with this brush so do you guys see what's happening here now oh, this brush is filled with eyeshadow 
I'll be going into a shimmer shade to add more drama to my cut crease because right now I just feel like it's plain. Oh. Also, I've been getting my nails, I'm back to getting my nails done now. I took a little break because you know, my nails got damaged really bad. So I took a little break, but I'm back now. Don't know for how long because I ended up I end up removing my nails myself, which I should not be doing. I, that's why they got damaged. I don't know. I just get tired of them and not in the mood to go get a new set. So and then I end up removing them, which I don't like for myself. And then I'll be going in with the brush that I use to contour and deepen my eyes. And I'll be getting into that contour shade again. And just blending out the corners of my eye. So guys, I'll go off camera and finish off my eyes and put eyeliner and put on some lashes and then I'll be back to do my look because I just can't do that on camera. So now I'm done with my base and I've applied my eyelashes and I do my mascara and eyeliner. I'm obsessed with doing the cat eye in the middle and then I didn't do a wing because it's a simple look. And now I'm going with my other brow pencil. Which needs some sharpening. And I'll do my lips with it. So I'm just going to line my lips lightly. So here's a trick, when you're doing your makeup, you should apply a moisturizer on your lips and then wipe it off right before you do your, your lips. And then, I'm just going to do this. And then go in with my trusted Discam Lip Therapy in the center and just Oh, this thing is finishing. But like... So yeah guys, that's all I do for my makeup look. And then I go in with my Smudge Beauty setting spray. With and when that's on my face, I just fan it down. So I do this look if like I'm going out with my friends. Nothing hectic. Could be a night look because of the lips, but like if the lips were just gloss, it could be a day look. So yeah, that's it guys. I'm done with my look.